Try to tune in on the breath. There are different ways you can do this. You can start out by thinking about the breath. You might have a mental picture with energy flowing through the body, around the body. Or you can tune into the feeling of the breath. Like a vapor of alcohol. It can't be contained. It has no clear limits, clear boundaries. It flows through the breath, through the body, excuse me. Flows around the body. So allow your mind to tune into the lightness of the breath. In the same way that you tune a radio into a specific station. This is called tuning into the level of form. The mind can experience three levels of being, three levels of becoming. There's the level of sensuality, where you're focused on your desire for sight, sound, smells, taste, tactile sensations. There's the level of form, which is primarily your inner sensation of the body, how the body feels from inside. This is defined in four terms, in terms of the breath, in terms of earth, water, fire. In other words, a sense of motion or energy. Earth is the solidity, water is the coolness, the liquid sensations, and fire is the warmth. That's form. And then there's a formless level. Things like space or awareness. And you can tune into any of these. They're here all the time. It's a question of which one you want to choose to focus on, which one you want to stay with. It's like setting up a TV set and a radio, or an FM, AM radio, and then a shortwave radio here in the, the sala. And realizing there are lots of waves coming through the sala right now. The TV station waves, the AM, FM radio waves, short waves. And you could choose to tune into any of them. They're all here. It's just a mere question of which one you're going to choose where you're going to focus, which frequency you're going to focus on. And our minds tend to be channel, channel surface. We jump from one to the other. Sometimes TV, sometimes radio, different channels, different radio stations. If we keep jumping around like this, we just pick up bits and snatches of things. We don't hear anything all the way through or see anything all the way through. This is why we have to choose to stay consistently with one level. So let's focus on the body in and of itself, the sensation of having a body here right now, the sensation of warmth, motion, solidity. Try to stay focused on that level. Any images or ideas or sensations or notions from other levels, just put let them go. Let them pass. They're going to be here, but you don't have to focus on them. Stay consistently with a sense of the body, the inside of the body, how you're feeling it from the inside. And hang on right there. The image the Buddha gives. So we're creating a sense of state of becoming. That's what the path is all about. You create the path. You bring it into being. This is one of the paradoxes of the Buddha's whole teachings. On the one hand, we're trying to overcome craving for becoming. That's one of the causes of suffering. But the path we 
follow is one of bringing something into being. We do some becoming. But it's a tactical sort of thing. As you just stay consistently with the breath, you start understanding things better. You see things more clearly. It's like tuning into one channel or one radio station and just staying there. So if there's music, you hear the piece of music all the way through. If there's a discussion, you hear the discussion all the way through. In other words, you know things from beginning to end, from cause to effect. And that's how you give rise to the discernment that sets you free. The Buddha uses a different analogy. Of course, in those days they didn't have radio stations. His analogy is of planting a seed in the field. The field here is your past karma. The fact that you've got a body sitting here right now, that's the result of past karma. The seed is your consciousness, your awareness. And for any seed to grow, of course, you've got to plant it in one place. You don't move it around. Planting it here today, then digging it up tomorrow, moving it someplace else. You never get the plant you want. And then you water the seed. Once it's in place, then you water the seed with delight. In other words, it has to be something you like to do. This is why it's important when you meditate, trying to develop a state of concentration, that you choose an object you like. Or you take the most common object, which is the breath, and you make it into something you like. And that way the state of becoming grows. So the field here is the sense of the body from within. The consciousness is focused on one spot in the body. This is the essence of what it means to have a state of becoming, as you choose a location to stay focused. And we want this one to develop. So you don't go channel surfing, you don't go moving your seed around in, accordance, in line with your movements. You just choose a place and then stick with it. And then you water it with delight. In the beginning, the delight is simply the, the sense of interest that comes from exploring what it feels like to have the body. Trying to get a sense of what is this breath energy we're talking about? What is the earth? What is the water? What is the fire? It sounds like primitive chemistry, but it's not. It's more like giving us a vocabulary to talk about or to see things inside. In the same way that professional tasters have to have a vocabulary to describe all the variations of taste. The more complete the vocabulary you have, the more you start seeing the more you start sensing. It's the same with the breath, and the same with all the elements in the body. So try to use this vocabulary as a way of classifying the different sensations that you feel as you explore the body from within. What is the difference between breath sensations, say, as opposed to liquid sensations? The more precisely you can sense the breath in this way, then you just plant your seed right there. In other words, you stay right there. You don't move around. And then try to get a sense of delight, exploring how you can make the breath energy feel good in the different parts of the body, how you can use the breath energy to soothe away pains tension or tightness in different parts of the body. In this way, the delight turns into not simply interest, but a sense of real pleasure, gratification from being on this level. And try to establish a sense of oneness with the breath. This is important. When the Buddha describes the different levels of jhana, he talks about Singleness of preoccupation is being common to all of them. In other words, you're focused on one thing, but your relationship to the object changes. With first jhana, you're thinking about the object and you're evaluating it. So even though you are with, with one object, there's not a real sense of being totally one with it. 
the mind is hovering around it, trying to adjust it, trying to get it so that it's really just right. Then when it's just right, you go into it, enter into the breath. So your sense of awareness, this consciousness is firmly planted in the soil. Your awareness is firmly planted in the breath. You feel like you're surrounded by breath. You're one with the breath. And then try to maintain that sense of oneness. You don't have to think much about it. You don't have to evaluate much anymore. Just stay with that sense of oneness. And the breath will start changing. It will grow more calm. more balanced throughout the body, until the breath energy throughout the whole body feels like one single common sensation as it grows more and more still. You take the sense of oneness and then you can apply it to other things, like space. This is where you move into the formless realms, the infinitude of space, the infinitude of consciousness. That's as far as the oneness can take you, and you have to drop the oneness to get to the state of nothingness. In other words, the oneness of the knowing gets put aside. This is how you tune into the, the formless realms. So try to take this seed of your awareness and plant it very firmly in the sense of the body, just in and of itself, as you're experiencing it from within. Give rise to this state of becoming right here, on the level of form. Or to switch back to the, the radio analogy, stay tuned to this station. Even though there may be other waves going through the, the air, other waves going through the building, you're going to stay on this frequency, so that the mind moves in unison with this frequency. And the longer you stay here, the, the better chance you have of seeing things clearly. This is why we have to bring this state of being into being. This is why the path, even though it goes beyond becoming, has to make use of becoming. To get one, as you do this, you start understanding what is the process of becoming? What is this karma that forms the field? What is the consciousness that forms the seed? What's the delight that keeps it watered? Now, because you're still, you can see the slightest movements of the mind. Because there's a sense of ease and well being, the mind begins to open up. So that whatever insights it gains, go really deep. Change things inside. But your duty for now is to stay tuned. Stay planted right here. Learn how to take delight in the station you've stayed you're tuned to. Take delight in the fact that you're you're on the right path. Because that delight is how the path grows. <laughs>